Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can change Unix permissions on files and folders in Mac OS X using a free utility. There are a number of different reasons why you might need to change the permissions on your files and folders. Sometimes if you move a bunch of files from an old operating system to a new operating system, you might not have permission to write to all those files. So now obviously there's a built-in tool to do this in OS X. If you right click on a file or folder, go to get info, you can change the sharing and permissions down at the bottom. But it doesn't provide you with all of the options to change the Unix permissions that are available on the computer. So we can use a tool called batch mod and you can get it online it's just at uh, legentesoft.com forward slash batch mod will take you to this website and you'll notice if you scroll down the page a little bit where I was just at uh, it looks like this If you scroll down there's an area where you can either download the beta version or the more stable version it's a really light download and install it's a very small application and when you open it up on your computer this is what it's going to look like and you'll notice that we have all of the options to change all of the permissions for uh, all the files and folders on our computer we can also clear access control lists we can uh, change those permissions to multiple files and folders at once so uh, let me actually uh, quit out of this real quick and then just run it again so we can see what it looks like uh, when we open it up right from the start uh, so you'll notice when we first open it up we can choose which file or folder we want to change the permissions for now I'm going to show you the library folder on the computer because that is a folder that oftentimes might be giving you issues if your permissions are set incorrectly you might not be able to install applications or open them once they're installed so I'm going to go into uh, click on file to choose the folder that I want to change permissions for we're going to go to Macintosh hard drive and I'm going to choose the library folder and click open so you'll see that it's now open here in batch mod. Now there's two things that I do want to warn you about. Uh, first of all, you definitely need to make sure you know what you're doing if you're using batch mod because you can really screw up your computer if you change uh, cert permissions a certain way. Uh, so you want to make sure that you absolutely know what the permissions should be before you change them on a file or folder. Secondly, I also want to warn you that batch mod doesn't show you the current permissions. It just allows you to change them. Uh, so what I mean by that is if I change uh, my group over here, this is where I can choose the group that I want to set permissions for. So if I go to my admin group, on my library folder, my admin group does have write permissions and it should have write permissions and I know it has write permissions because I just ran this permission change on my computer. But you'll notice when I pull it up here in batch mod, it's not showing me that admin has write permissions. So just be aware of that as you're using batch mod. It's not a tool to see what the permissions currently are. If you want to see what the permissions are, you're going to want to right click on the file or folder and go down to the sharing section which I showed you earlier. That being said, uh, we can change permissions simply by using the check boxes. Uh, a check means we want to give that user or group uh, the permission. A line means we want to keep the permission as it is right now, whatever it is. And an empty check box means we want them to not have that particular permission. So I do want my admin group to have write permissions. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we can also clear access control lists. We can just unlock files and folders before we actually change permissions on them. And then it's a good idea to apply the same permissions to enclosed files and folders uh, because especially for a library, we have a lot of files and folders in there that our admin account needs access to write to. Uh, and we don't want to go change those uh, manually each one at a time. We can change them all at once by applying this permission to all the enclosed files and folders as well. So once we're ready to change our permissions, we can click on the apply button and you'll notice that batch mod also warns you says make sure you know what you're doing because again this can really mess up your computer if you take certain permissions away uh, from certain users you might not be able to change your permissions back and then you've got a big issue you might have to reinstall your your operating system or something like that so again make sure you know what the permission should be before you do this and then you can click apply again you have to enter our admin password to apply these changes and boom that's it it's that quick uh, I've just changed the permissions if they were not already set to what I wanted to change them to on the library folder here on my computer so I hope you found this video helpful if you did I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube and if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel that's all I have for you for today this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com